I am Don Bodin from samplelibraryreview.com. Today, doing something a little different. I'm really excited to check out Brainworks' new BX Console G. Now, this is a very special emulation plugin modeled off of the SSL 4000 series mixing consoles. It's hugely popular among mixing engineers, especially in rock and pop. So why would I be interested in reviewing a channel strip emulation plugin? Well, first, this isn't just like a regular plugin. This is like 72 individually emulated channel strips. And the second reason, I think Dirk Elric sums it up best. This is uh, the console that has mixed more hits than any other consoles combined together. Springworks BX Console G sells for 299 US dollars from Plugin Alliance. Yeah, lucky for all of us, there's a free trial for 14 days. Just have to log in or create a Plugin Alliance account. Be sure to include links to that in the description below. In the spirit of transparency, Sample Library Review is not in any way associated with Plugin Alliance, although they did supply a copy of the plugin for review consideration. Now, as I have to produce, mix, and master most of my projects on my own in under 24 hours, a plugin like this that offers a little bit of warmth and clarity could really come in handy. With the audio's examples they've got, of course, they sound fantastic. Time goes by and he can't let go. Time goes by and he can't let go. But the real test will be to see how the plugin reacts in my workflow. So I'm going to check it out on two different tracks. Of course, I'm eager to hear what this plugin might do on one of my orchestral hybrid tracks. But first, let's start out with something more in the pop rock genre. So the first thing I did is play through a new track I'm working on, which I don't even know if I should be sharing this track. Uh, it's something I'm supposed to deliver this week. Uh, I played through this track with um, instances loaded but uh, turned off. So you can hear those here. And then I loaded the instances and did a little bit of EQ and a little bit of compression. So you could hear the overall sound difference uh, between the original track with no BX console G on and the uh, getting closer to the final mix with the BX console G turned on and activated, utilized the compressors and EQs. So I'll just, uh, just flip back and forth between those and you can hear what it sounds like. Overall, I'm really pleased with the sound of everything. I mean, most of these tracks, I didn't do any EQ or any compression. I just loaded up uh, an instance of the BX Console G and let um, the natural analog coloring emulation uh, add a little bit of warmth and presence to it. And I think 
for the very most, almost all these tracks just really kind of uh, sound a lot more polished and clean. Um, it it also uh, I really love it because it seems like it's a, it's more than just a channel strip because you've got access to um, a couple different uh, emulations for different SSL 400 consoles. So before we get into the next example, I want to check out. Um, I've loaded up the BX console G just on a drum um, bus. I'm going to play it back and uh, just kind of play through each of the parameters and get a feel for how they work. Uh, just start. I'll just start a loop here. So here we've got our high pass filter, or I'm sorry, low pass filter. and high pass filter. And then we've got our compressor here. This is our ratio and our threshold. And then the other thing that's great about this, it's got this mix control. So it's almost like it's got every channel would have its own parallel processing for compression. ability to uh, have a side chain input and there's an expander down here next section it looks like you've got the ability to switch on and off your dynamic section and then this will let you toggle between um, an E series emulation and the G series emulation and that's for the uh, emulation of the dynamics uh, channel here. And then this key, this is external side chain. When engaged, the compressor will react to the external signal. I'm reading off the, the, uh, the manual here as I check this out. The EQ is pretty self-evident as far as what the, the plugin will do. You got uh, low down here. You got low mid with your Q. It's nice because you can uh, change up your Q size right there for your low and then also for your high frequency and then the high shelf and then on the bottom we've got um you can toggle the eq on and off And then you can put the EQ before the signal chain, or at the pre-engaged, I guess. So before the signal chain, with the pre. And then up here, we've got uh, the ability to, to either use an analog um, emulation or digital.
And there's just a little bit of difference on this. Uh, and it looks like it's jumping us here between uh, utilizing all of it as separate channels and utilizing it both as channel 23. The other thing that's important here, like I'd mentioned, that uh, you can cycle through all 72 different emulations. But what they've got that I really like is if you load up all your instances, you can just hit this random for one and it's going to randomly jump for the one channel. But if you've got all your instances loaded up, we can hit random all. Now every instance of our uh, BX console G has randomized. So watch. See? And that's great because it'll be emulating different channels throughout. All right, now let's go ahead and jump in, do the same kind of thing uh, we did um, the first part of this demo with uh, a hybrid orchestral track. On the majority of these tracks, I just loaded up the instance. I actually did not utilize any of the parameters for compression or expansion EQs or whatnot. Uh, and what I hear overall is that it adds just a tiny bit of life, a um, little bit of presence. Uh, and for me, the clarity um, comes in in the strings and those Brahm effects. And a little bit of that is because there is a little bit of EQing going on. I'm utilizing the console to EQ and get more out of the uh, instrument tracks. Overall, I'm really pleased with what this has to offer. And I think it's going to be one of those plugins. I know there's an entire series of BSX consoles out now. But it's going to be one of those plugins where I'll need to spend some serious time with it to get to know the channels, uh, to get to know how to use the parameters so they best work with different instruments or even with sample libraries. Overall, uh, I know a lot of mixing engineers love to mix on these SSL consoles, and I can see how this emulation really does add warmth, uh, presence, and a little bit of air overall. Thanks so much for spending a little bit of your time here uh, checking out the BX Console G with me. I really think that this is going to come in handy. I may dedicate this to my workflow for the next month or two and see if it's going to stick. I'm, I'm really loving it. Uh, love your thoughts. Please comment in the description below. Tell me if you're using any of the BX Console plugins and how you're enjoying them. Like, share, and subscribe. We always love your support. And be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page. <laughs> <laughs>